hole in the sky. Hey, pretty crazy, huh? Can you believe this mess? You doing all right? I am, but I can't say the same about my birds. Poor things are scared half to death. Gotta calm them down somehow. Times like these, people are gonna need our help. Gotta calm them down somehow. Times like these, people are gonna need our help. Gotta calm them down somehow. Times like these, people are gonna need our help. Carts ain't running right now. Chocobos are so frightened, they're refusing to move. Who could have seen this coming? It's all so tragic. Chocobos are so frightened, they're refusing to move. Carts ain't running right now. Chocobos are so frightened, they're refusing to move. Jobs, probably. Mm -hmm. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. I'm serious. Monsters with a few screws loose. Really go to all the efforts. Let's take all these soldiers in the streets all of a sudden. Found them? We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. Did you find what you were looking for? Thanks to you, I did. Good. Now never let it go again. I need to prep for my next show. Times like these, song and dance are truly essential. The stage could be yours. I need to prep for my next show. Times like these, song and dance are truly essential. Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. However, did it come to this? I don't like not knowing what's going on. However, did it come to this? I don't like not knowing what's going on. However, did it come to this? Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? You guys running it? Jesse at the pillar. Yeah, Biggs too. They were both let in me through, pretty bad let shape. Me through. My but Wedge wasn't seven. up there with them. He got out. All right. Get yourself killed. Let's go home for the night.
Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. We're all scared. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. We're all scared. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. We're all scared. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. My ears are still ringing from it. This is Sector 5, right? So where is this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on... ...the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, uh, Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, but with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. Upstairs. Huh? Oh. <sighs> I said she's sleeping. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Marlene, my baby, thank God. Shh. 
Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Hmm. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But, he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no, this one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! No! Go away! 
<sighs> Aerith, you know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like, checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. Take care of yourselves now. Take care of yourselves now. Take care of yourselves now.
The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything, but... My ears are still ringing from it. This wasn't an accident, was it? This feeling was like this before the last one started. Over there. Let's keep moving. This won't take long. That's all. Ah! That's About damn time. Ah! You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so.
blocked. Ugh. There, that way. We'll have to fight our way through. But it's our only shot.
Keep it up, man.
Finally! Those assholes... We're really getting on my nerves. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Over there! Huh? That way out? I'm almost afraid to go back. To see it with my own eyes. Tifa. Come on. Does it look like we can go this way? No. There's monsters everywhere. Is this road still good? Pretty sure this ought to take us straight to the Sector 5 slums. You're alive! Still in one piece. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. I don't even know where to start. Hey, guys! Yeah, there is. Rest and don't get under fire. We don't want to make more work for them. And if there's anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, well, better than an all-night march. Uh, you find your friends? Not yet. It's a miracle anyone survived. What happened to all the people that were living in You know, they probably found that. God damn it all! My family didn't deserve this! This is bad. <sighs> you want to look some This is bad. I really hope that all my friends are okay. I'm sure they are, honey. Don't I really hope that all my friends are okay. I'm sure they are, honey. Don't worry. Look. What do you think happened? This is bad. <sighs> 
never know what you're gonna run into out there. Best be prepared. Careful out there. Sector 7, huh? Yeah. Left a few things behind. I see. I know it's not much, but it's all I got. Godspeed. This is bad. <sighs> hey. Gotta keep fighting. See what's on the other side. Finally, I can this use some fresh air. Damn it! I still can't believe this happened. Sector 6 is right over there. We just need to walk a little bit longer, that's all. You can rest easy, folks. We can assure you no monsters have been sighted in the vicinity. We'll be stepping up patrols day and night to ensure nothing like this ever happens again. What are we do now? A house? A savings? It's gone. It's all gone. All the more reason to go someplace new and start over. I wish I hadn't made it out. Don't say that. Things will work Thank out. You. They always have. I suppose you're right. The house was pretty old. And it's not like we had a lot of money saved. Again! That one was a lot closer. Need some help. <sighs> My God. <laughs> Just 
Just a little more. Come on. Come on. It won't budge. Make room. Mara, you're alive. With me. Ready? <laughs> Great job, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> Okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Hello! Anybody out there? If you can hear me, say something! I take it that little Marlene safe and sound? That little girl's a hell of a lot stronger than you might think. I take it that little Marlene safe and sound? Anybody out there? Hey! Hey! We're here to help! If you can hear me, shout! That's Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow it. Ready? One, two, three! left of Wedge's place? Hey! We're coming down! Stay right where you are! This place reeks of Shinra.
Tifa! Cloud! Shout if you can hear me! <laughs> <laughs> 